Okay, I told you this is going to be a long review. Look at how many pages of light we have. And this is the first for women, March 15th, 2021. Already, folks. So let's just dive right in. As you know, our family is Irish. So if you're watching this, you know that by now. Um, so I love when they come up with Irish stuff and stuff that I can share with you. Um, this is seven things to make us happy that we just had to share with you. They say a savory side dish. Nothing says St. Patty's Day like homemade potatoes and cabbage. Now, I will tell you, I don't eat cabbage. So I may be Irish, but I don't eat cabbage. Um, so they tell you how to do the savory side dish. But what I like is this cute garland, which is looks like hearts, but yet they're shamrocks. And it says, so cute garland. Crafting brings me such joy, says Lauren Bloom, the first associate editor. My latest DIY idea is a sweet shamrock garland to do. I form a small heart and then a larger ha heart out of green paper strips and glue them together then to make a leaf. Then I glue three leaves together to make a shamrock and string a few shamrocks on the jute for fun. Look at those shamrocks. Isn't that amazing? And then here's that savory side dish in case one of you wanted to make it out there. And then on the bottom here we have a cozy candlescape. I don't do candles, but for those that do, more power to you. And it's uh, got a beautiful green candle on a green plate. Looks like some baby's breath around it. Okay. Now, um... They got rainbows are made of small raindrops. Happy lives are made from acts of kindness. Submit Roy. And they show that there. Okay. A soup lover's best friend. If you, I love making soups and stews, but I don't in, love the chopping herbs, sighs Melissa De Annes from the first senior editor. So I flip from this cactus-shaped herb infuser. You fill it with your favorite herbs and toss it into your soup pot. Gives tons of flavors, sands the choppings, and the cactus herb infuser is only $14 for a set of two at walmart.com. Okay. Uh, gorgeous glow. Toward the end of writing, my usual glow boosting foundation looks cakey or parched on skin, says Leanne Garfalfilo, the first associate editor for more dewy radiance like Lauren Dern, my makeup savvy friend, told me to mix a pea-sized amount with a foundation of facial cream and then use a damp makeup sponge to gently dab onto the skin. The lotion thins the foundation for a sheer hydration of wash and color, and the wet sponge won't pick up flakes like brushes tend to do. I use sponges all the time for my face. Okay, and then we have... May your ad blessings outnumber the shamrocks that grow, and w may your troubles avoid you wherever you go. That's an Irish proverb. And that's pages four and five. You know a book is good when we're starting off with page four and five. Okay. We get to move forward. This is good. Next paper clip is... Six sneaky germ hot spots. Now, you got to really think about this, okay? This is places where germs live, okay? This is a feel great update. Research reveals the surprising places that viruses and bacteria lurk and the simple strategies to keep you safe and healthy. This is page 3233. The coffee maker. Dark and damp, the reservoir of coffee makers are the perfect breeding grounds for microorganisms. In one study, 50% were contaminated with mold and yeast, many from high bacteria counts. Fortunately, making sure that your fresh coffee contains only coffee is easy. British researchers say that washing out the pot and ba basket once daily with a regular dish detergent and water instantly cuts germ counts by 82%. And running half a pot of vinegar once each month through the machine, followed by a few pots of fresh water, prevents germ growth by cleaning out the nooks and crannies that you can't reach by hand. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, there's your coffee and thing right there. 
and the next one up is a very yeah it's one that always irritates me knobs on the stove okay there are more bacteria on the stove knobs than they're on the dish sponge or even in the bottom of your kitchen garbage can says the University of Colorado scientist the microbiologist Beth Redman the University of Colorado okay PhD explains that we must clean most of the kitchen service regularly but the knobs are so easily overlooked now to cut bacteria levels by 95 percent 95 now or more plus rid these surfaces with antiviruses that may be lingering clean your kitchen knobs once weekly with soap and water then wipe a little diluted bleach, one teaspoon of bleach mixed with one cup water, on the stove knobs. Okay? Your boots and shoes. Previous research has revealed high levels of illness causing bacteria on your shoes and boots, and a recent CDC study suggests that when people walk through areas where COVID-19 is present, up to 50% of them arrive home with the virus stuck to their footwear. The instant cure uh, RX is to switch to comfy slippers or indoor shoes when you step inside and you give your hands a scrub if you had to touch your shoes to take them off. Now the University of Michigan researchers say that you'll cut germ levels on your floor by 60% plus reduce your illness risk by one third. That's on your boots and shoes y'all. Okay your dishwasher. Now I don't have one. I have two hands and those two hands not only wash dishes but they dry them. Just saying. Almost 100% of hardworking appliances were contaminated with illness-causing bacteria and fungi. Most growing in the door's rubber seal or in the inside walls reveal a study in the journal BMC Microbiology. To loosen and quickly flush out the troublesome germs, the UCLA researchers recommend running your dishwasher empty once weekly. Now, at a higher heat with a mug filled with a cup of vinegar sitting in the top rack. So you're going to take a cup of vinegar put it in the top rack and run it on high heat and then you'll be clean. Fresh laundry. Yikes, according to the New York University researchers, 25 percent of freshly washed laundry still harbor germs. Blame today's larger loads, cooler wash water and few phosphates and detergents. Thankfully one simple tweak can ensure that you have clean laundry and is truly clean. Add a half a cup of borax to the wash cycle. Canadian scientists say that the natural mineral salt blocks the growth of bacteria and fungi, plus raises the pH of fresh water, boosting the ability of laundry detergents to dissolve and remove germ-laden grime. Your vacuum cleaner. Lord knows, me and Jaws have had more than one go around and not getting along. At least half of the vacuum cleaner brushes and power heads test positive for harmful germs, including fecal bacteria and mold spores. That can be spread around the rooms while cleaning, but lightly spritzing and undersiding your vacuum power head plus the beater brush after use with a disinfectant like Clorox or Lysol will kill 100% of germs on contact, say the University of Arizona researchers. And since these spritzes evaporate quickly, they won't damage the surface when you next vacuum. That's interesting. Okay, quick bits. Y'all like these quick bits and so do I. And this is page 38. The health news that matters to you. After upside of a relaxing 15 minute soak, a hot bath does more than wash away worries. It may prevent heart disease and diabetes suggests the research presented for the European Association for the Study of Diabetes. Folks who took four or fifth, more than 15 minute baths a week had lower blood pressure and a lower body mass index, plus the lower measure of lower metabolic markers that raise the risk of heart condition and diabetes compared to those who soak less often. Short, frequent baths work like the cardiovascular exercise. You ramp up your heart rate and you increase your circulation. Now your dental ha habit deactivates the coronavirus. Now listen up. Your daily oral health routine may be doing double duty by deactivating the virus like, like those that cause COVID-19. It reveals the emerging research. The mouth is a major point of entry of the virus, but the Penn State College of Medicine lab study found that many common drugstore 
antimicrobial mouthwash inactivated more than 99.9 .9 of viruses only after 30 seconds. And another study showed that similar results on COVID-19, especially Penn State researcher Craig Myers, Ph.D., suggest rinsing with a Crest Pro Health or Listerine at least twice daily and after being out in public. Do you know that 53% of the number of people who hibernate to catch up on their sleep, the source is the slumber cloud? Before surgery, therapy reduces need for painkillers. Acupuncture is often used to treat existing pain. Now a new study suggests, suggests having the alternative therapy before surgery can prevent discomfort and anxiety afterwards. Research presented to the Anesthesiology 2020 Annual Meeting found that hip surgery patients who received acupuncture prior to the procedure reported less pain and anxiety after, plus required three times fewer prescription painkillers than those in control groups. The scientists say that acupuncture really just releases endorphins and the body's natural painkillers. Studying, studying, steadying your blood sugar. This protects your brain power, okay? So a reveal, so reveals a study in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism. Researchers followed 1,000 volunteers with type 2 diabetes over 10 years, found that those who kept their blood sugar levels steady and improved their ability to think clearly and learn and remember results better than those of subjects who exercise more and lost weight. That's because over time, high blood pressure and sugar can cause damage to your blood vessels in your brain. The natural way to heal itchy skin. Spring is almost here, but if your hands are dry and itchy despite all that extra moisturizing, a simple supplement may help. A study in the Journal of Pharmacological Research and Perspectives found that 39% of people with eczema, extremely dry and irritated skin, who took 1,300 milligrams of vitamin D3 daily in addition to applying the over-the-counter 1% of hydrocortisone cream saw a significant, significant improvement in their symptoms compared to just 7% of patients in placebo group. Vitamin D improves immune system function and it helps reduce the inflammation and breakdown of the skin's protective barrier. Two big triggers for eczema. Moving forward. I told you this is a great book and so many points of light. Quick bits. This is the psychology news that matters to you. Help for pandemic stress. Picking up a sewing project or another absorbing activity you can enjoy will help you quell COVID anxiety, says one researcher reporting in the journal PLOS1. They re surveyed more than 5,000 people about their well-being during the quarantine as well as their flow experiences that's doing something fun that helps you lose track of surroundings and found that those who spent more time in a flow state were more happier and less lonely than those who had fewer flow experiences. The author speculates that being in a flow state provides a distraction from worries and makes time feel like it's passing more quickly. When not to go with your gut. Before hiring an accountant, do your taxes. Try brainstorming the qualities you're looking for in the study of Journal of Experimental Psychologists. Researchers analyzed the episodes of The Voice and found that they had contestants initially saying they cared more about the coach's expertise, a quality shown in the separate study to help most, more people improve the most. They tended to pick the coach with the most enthusiasm. The author says that this decision-making quirk is due to a prediction error. When we were swayed by our heart, but what we're saying make our checklist that can help us make the wisest choice. The genius technique for speedier learning. As you prepare for a test in an online course that you're taking to boost your skill set, quiz yourself on the material rather than the repeatedly reading, reading your notes. Researchers at the University of Illinois at Champaign-Urbana, woohoo! discovered that subjects who did so recalled more and were able to apply what they learned better than those who apply reread their notes and the benefits held over studies 25 day span prior to research had shown that the studying helps encode new information in the brain so it's easier access to learn later 
Relief from the daily grind. Feeling connected to a higher power helps you feel and wealthier, better daily stress, says the researchers from Baylor University in Waco, Texas, and Harvard University also. In their study in 2,800 people, subjects who reported feeling God's love or a sense of inner peace were more likely to say they were flourishing in spite of the daily challenges. Authors speculate that they were focusing on spiritually interrupts remuneration, plus it helps us feel grateful and calm. 50% of reduction in depression risk are when surrounded by friends who are happy. The source, the University of Warwick in United Kingdom. Now here's a key to a sunnier outlook on life. And look at the little, isn't they cute? That's shamrocks. Your view on luck can make a big difference in your happiness, reveals the study in the journal Current Psychology. When researchers had 844 participants fill out surveys measuring happiness, personal characteristics, and beliefs about luck, they found that subjects who saw as good fortune at play, they were more happier than those who thought of luck, something more like fate, a force outside their control. The authors explain the latter idea makes you feel as if you have no power over your own life, whereas the notion of personal luck, like the feeling you get when thinking about lucky breaks and silver linings, is tied to hope and positivity. Okay. Um, this one is a long book. I need a drink of tea. Grateful. Okay. Stress-free Dr. Jin's way. Busy mom, author, physician, or chief medical correspondent for ABC News, Jennifer Ashton, MD, 51, shares her tips for staying healthy, radiant, and worry-free. Um, she says, to rev up immunity, delicious nutrients, um, to daily mood booster, learn to turn off Joyful Stress Buster, Starting a Happy ho Hobby, The COVID Combatter, Get a Daily Dose of Your Vitamin D. And there's more to this article, but that's just the overlook. And you want to be sure to pick up First Magazine to get all of this article to help you get stress-free. It's a very good article. Break Free from the Sorry Syndrome. This is Stress SOS. Uh, the key to happy confidence, stop apologizing. Women who are likely as men to say, I'm sorry, no matter what the situation. And that has a sneaky way of increasing stress and lowering self-esteem. Here the experts share easy ways to cure the need to please disease. You call your sister to talk about a recent financial setback, but before you even begin, you find yourself saying, I'm sorry to bother you. Sound familiar? Apologizing has a, become a reflex for so many of us. Sorry to ask. Sorry I can't do more. Sorry I sneezed. This knee-jerk reaction not only dials up our stress levels, it compromises our self-esteem. Women are hardwired to apologize, reveals neuroscientist Kristen Willimar, PhD, author of Biohack Your Brain, explaining that we show more activity than men in emotion and bonding the center of the brain. We want to keep everyone happy, she says, but this well-intentioned impulse contributes to the sorry syndrome, which feeds self-doubt. While genuine apologies for something we've done wrong makes us feel better and provides a sense of closure, women who apologize for the insentious things report feeling deflated, says Maya Jovanek, Ph.D., author of Hey Ladies, Stop Apologizing. Every, hey, every needless sorry emboldens our inner critic. Thankfully, we can break free of the I'm sorry syndrome. When we release anxiety caused by constantly apologizing for ourselves, we're able to take back the power and respond in a way that serves our higher good, assures Willimar. Here are easy ways to turn off the stress-fueled sorry spigot and build your true confidence. If you impulse apologize, ask yourself this question. You arrive at the supermarket checkout lane at the same time another shopper and instantly hear yourself announce, Oops, I'm sorry. Women often apologize for such innocent, no-fault offenses, triggering stressful thoughts like, I don't belong, or I don't have the right to take up space in the world. The next time you feel this urge to say sorry, just pause and ask yourself, is an apology necessary? 
advises Willimer, you'll often find the silence is an appropriate response, and if you still feel the need to say something, consider replacing I'm sorry with a guilt-free phrase like go ahead or you first. We have a staggering 70,000 thoughts per day, and it's our self-talk that can drive anxiety, she says. In situations where you feel compelled to apologize, talk to yourself with compassion like I'm just a human being moving through the store. This loving boost gives you permission to sideline your sorry and take up the space you deserve. If you wince set your wins, tap into your gratitude instead. After receiving kudos from your boss, you deflect the praise and say, well, I'm sorry I didn't finish the report sooner. Women often struggle to internalize success, advises jo Jovenak. We tend to believe that our accomplishments somehow make others feel worse about themselves. To erase sorry for my success stress, tap your gratitude into this moment. Remind yourself that saying thank you is enough. No need for qualifiers like it was just luck to better internalize self-confidence. Jot down a win list of 10 achievements in your mind. Link each achievement to a personal trait, encourages Jovanak by connecting our success to characteristics like tenacity, courage of consciousness. We're able to see our wins as real and valid and take greater pride in our own abilities. Knowing each victory we have, no in way diminishes, diminishes others. If you lead with, I'm sorry, open with optimism. When replying to emails, you often start with a preemptive so uh, apology. Sorry for the delay. Sorry I forgot the attachment. This defense mechanism tends to be triggered by a fear of criticism or a preserved threat, says Susan Hitler, the Ph.D. author of Prescriptions Without Pills. In fact, it's linked to an overactive amygdala, which is responsible for the brain's fight-or-flight response. Instead of leading with negativity, which only increases anxiety, start with confidence-boosting language. For example, if you're emailing someone or texting someone, you might open with a feel-good phrase like, it was so great to get your message, or thank you for thinking of me. Simply starting with an affirmative language helps you affirm yourself, curbing stress and helping broaden the tunnel vision caused by fear. In other words, when you're not focused on yourself or your perceived faults, you instantly become less apologetic, and you're able to communicate more positive, honestly, and openly. If you apologize for needs, just say, please. After picking up takeout take from your favorite restaurant, you're, ask your hostess, I'm sorry, but can I have some extra napkins? Perfectionists often uh, per preference their requests with apologies to soften the blow, quote-unquote. But these sorries can have the opposite effect. Researchers show that folks get an apology for something harmless. They often become confused, even anxious. Subconsciously, they think, wait, I didn't recognize an error? What did I miss? The resulting tension ends up dialing up stress for both of you. When asking for a favor, simply swap out sorry for please, as in, may I please have a few extra napkins. This lets you show your kind nature without being needlessly self-negative. A wordless gesture can be just as effective, such as placing your hand over your heart when you present a slightly burned pie at dinner. It playfully signals, I tried, allowing you to get past the moments easily, says Hitler. Choosing not to apologize for minor missteps leads to greater self-esteem, increased feelings of control. It also ensures that your sincere apologies hold more meaning. In short, when you stop apologizing for yourself, your life will open up in countless ways. Oh, goodness, the recipes. Oh, my. Now, I totally loved, love, 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 love the recipes this month. They have garlic balsamic sweet potato fries on page 55. And let me tell you something, it looks great. Active time is 50, 15 minutes. Your total time is 50 minutes, and it serves six people. These oven-baked potato wedgies have all the flavor, but just a fraction of the fat in a deep-fried version. You take four large sweet potatoes, about two pounds, peel them into a cut of one inch thick fries, three tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one half teaspoon of ground cumin, one half teaspoon of paprika, one tablespoon of white balsamic vinegar. Now you're going to heat your oven to 400 degrees, coat a large rim bacon dish with cooking spray, and in a large bowl, toss your potatoes with oil, garlic powder, cumin, and paprika one half teaspoon of salt and one fourth teaspoon of pepper. Now you're going to transfer these potatoes to a baking sheet, spread them out in a single layer. Bake turning occasionally until tender and golden brown, which takes 30 minutes. Transfer to a napkin lined serving bowl, drizzle with balsamic vinegar. Your per serving calorie, get this, 110 calories. 
one uh, gram of protein, 12 grams of uh, carbs, two grams of fiber, nine grams of sugar, cholesterol zero, sodium 217 milligrams, total fat seven grams, one gram of saturated and zero trans fat. They got a chocolate pepper mint cake. It's active time one hour and total time is four hours and you can serve 12 people. Mini white chocolate filling makes our showstopper extra irresistible. You take one 15.25 package of devil's food cake mix, three eggs, one third cup oil, two eight ounce contents of frozen whipped cream topping thawed, eight ounce white chocolate chopped melted, one fourth teaspoon of peppermint extract, Kelly green concentrated food gel, one third cup of hot fudge topping and chocolate curls are optional. You're going to heat your oven to 350 degrees. Coat three eight inch cake pans with cooking spray. You're going to prepare your cake mix according to package directions with eggs, oil, and one cup water. Now you're going to divide amongst pans. Bake until you pick your inserted in the center comes out clean, which is 18 to 20 minutes. Let cool for 20 minutes. Transfer from pans to cooling rack to reserve two third cup whipped chocolate. Now you're going to fold in one cup whip topping into the white chocolate, gradually folding in the remaining whip topping into the blended stirring or extract, tint light green food coloring. Okay? Two, if desired, trim your cake tops to the level, place one cake layer on the serving plate, plate spread one third of white chocolate mixture about one and one fourth cup over the cake top, repeat layering twice. Now you're going to chill until set, which takes one hour. Combine hot fudge topping and do not heat and add one tablespoon of water. Spoon on the top of the cake, spoon reserve topping over, and if desired, you're going to top with those chocolate curls. Your per serving is 441. Your pro uh, is 5 grams. Your carbs are 53 grams, 1 gram of fiber, 38 grams of sugar. Your cholesterol is 50 milligrams. Your sodium is 356 milligrams. Your total fat is 22 grams. Saturated is 13, zero trans. Now I'm not going to share the grilled chicken or orange gla ginger glazed chicken or honey kissed rainbow medley vegetables, but look at these recipes right here. That's your potatoes. So get a good look at those. That's pretty awesome. Okay, and then we're going to move down to this look at that cake. That cake is just off the charts. Okay. Moving forward. Oh, good gravy. There's just more stuff. More good looking food. Okay. Crumb coated corned beef. Now, I don't do corned beef, but this cheddar potato bake looks really good. I'll share that with you. This is a comfort food casserole, which is extra satisfying, made with good for you, creamy Greek yogurt and garlic. You're going to take three pounds of red potatoes, chop those up, two cloves of garlic, peeled, smashed, and one half cup of milk, one fourth cup of butter, one half cup of plain Greek yogurt. Now, I don't like Greek yogurt, so I don't know if I'd like this recipe. One cup of shredded extra sharp cheddar cheese, which is four ounces, two tablespoons of fresh paste parsley and add additional one teaspoon of chopped fresh thyme now in a large pot you're going to cook your potatoes garlic and salted boiling water until tender now that's going to take 15 to 20 minutes you're going to drain them well now meanwhile you're going to heat your oven to 425 degrees coating a one half quart bacon dish with cooking spray return your potato mixture to the same pot now in a microwave safe measuring cup, microwave your milk, your butter in 15 second intervals until the butter is melted. Add to your potatoes with yogurt, one half teaspoon salt and one fourth teaspoon pepper. You're going to mash it in, stir in one half cup of cheese, two tablespoons of parsley and thyme. Now transfer to a baking dish, sprinkle with remaining cheese, bake until hot and cheese is melted. It takes 20 minutes. Let it stand for 5 to 10 minutes before serving. If desired, sprinkle with parsley. Your per serving is 248 calories. Your 9 grams of protein, carbs are 29 grams, fiber is 3 grams, 4 grams of sugar, cholesterol is 30 milligrams, sodium is 397, total fat 11 grams, 7 grams saturated, and 0 trans. Okay, they do a caraway cabbage and carrot medley. Not sharing because I wouldn't eat it. 
but these surprise inside chocolate cupcakes, which reminds me of little Andy Mints. Just saying. Everyone's lucky when they find their sweet treasure hidden inside. Now your active time is 50 minutes, your total time is 50 minutes, and it serves 12 people. One third cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, one fourth cup of butter at room temperature, two and a half cups of confectioner sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, three fourth cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips melted. Now your green concentrated food coloring, which 12 chocolate cupcakes at three fourth cup of green M&Ms, three one half ounce of chocolate squares, and you're gonna cut each, each of those into four pieces. Stir your cocoa in one-third boiling water on a medium speed. Beat butter until fluffy, which is two minutes. On low speed, graduate, gradually beat in your sugar and vanilla on medium-high speed until fluffy at two minutes. Transfer half of the frosting to separate to the bowl on medium speed. Now you're going to beat your chocolate chips and your cocoa mixture into one bowl of the frosting. Tint the remaining white frosting green with food coloring. Fit the medium star tip to the pastry bag and place in the bag and glass and fold on top of the bag over the glass. Transfer your frost into a separate food storage bag. Snip the one hiff, one hiff, one half from the one corner of each bag. Place inside the pastry bag. Cut one and one half inch wide to one and a half or one fourth deep cylinder from top of the each cupcake. Remove the cylinder, trim and discard the bottom half from the each cylinder. Reserve the top. Fill each cupcake with one tablespoon of M&M's. Press reserved cake cylinder over the candies. Pipe frosting over the cupcakes. Garnish with the chocolate squares. Your per serving, okay, 534 calories. Pro proteins, 4 grams. Carbs are 60 grams. 3 grams of fiber. 49 grams of sugar. Cholesterol, 676 milligrams. Sodium, 351 milligrams. Total fat, 34 grams. Saturated, 18 grams. Trans fat one gram. Now I'm going to show you the cheesy cheddar potato bake up here on page 58. Okay, we're going to move over to the surprise inside chocolate cupcakes that I just read to you. Okay, moving forward. Okay. Really, that's next. Okay. Um, smart food solutions. Now, these are quick tips to help make cooking stress free. Okay. Um, let's see. Now, if you, this is what I wanted to show you how to do um, Joy's Secret to brownies with 61% fewer calories. For brownies with more fiber and fewer calories, nutrition expert Joy Bauer subs in lentils and rolled out the oats for the flour to make in a food processor puree cup, one cup oats, one fourth cup of cocoa powder, one half teaspoon of baking powder, one half teaspoon of baking soda, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one cup of drained cooked lentils, one half cup of applesauce, one third cup of honey, one fourth cup of almond butter, and one egg. You're going to stir in one cup of dark chocolate chips, pour it into an eight inch square baking pan, break, bake at that 350 for 25 minutes. Now they look good. Now whether they taste good or not, I don't know, but that's how they're supposed to look. Okay, that's all I'm going to share on that one. Oh, look, they have a St. Patrick's party-like thing. Now, we never do this, but this would be cute for people who still have, like, little get-togethers and stuff. Um, this is, you brighten your settings with uh, pretty pretty layered plates. Collect compliments with a lovely leprechaun posy. Charm everyone with an Emerald Isle style. Add an in instant ambiance with clover kiss candles. And perk up your plain cupcakes with cute cupcake toppers. That's a cute way to have your uh, St. Patrick's Day, right? And that's page 72 and 73. Okay, moving forward. 
my work mom, she's going to say something about me putting all these paper clips in there. She's like giving me all these things so I won't use paper clips. I still use paper clips. Okay, smart home solutions. These are quick tips that save time and money. Genius ways to start off seedlings. Now, I thought this was really something I would never thought of. Okay, so that's why I'm going to share it with you. It says, uh, you hope to get a jump start on your garden by starting seeds indoors, but you want to make sure your seedlings will transfer safely outside late, later. The clever solution, cut a lemon in half, remove the fruit, and then poke a hole in the bottom for drainage. Fill the so soil, add two seeds and water. When it's warm enough to move outside, plant the entire lemon pot in the ground. The rind decomposes and it will compost in the soil, nourishing the plant. Look at that. That is just a so awesome idea. Right there. Okay. Um, how to fog proof a car windshield. When I have to run to the store in a hurry, it can be annoying to have to remove the condensation from my car's windshield. That's why I like to keep a long sock filled with kitty litter and tie it closed on my dashboard overnight. The litter soaks up the moisture in the air so that the window is clear and when it's time to head out. Anna Waters from Memphis. Keep food fresh for, with pennies. Rather than splurging on pricey containers to keep rice, beans, and other pantry staples fresh, wash, and dry a plastic water bottle thoroughly, then use a funnel to fill it with the food before screwing on the cap. The cap will ensure airtight seal while the bottle will make sure that it's easy to pour out just how much you need. You have saved $6 per for food storage container. Okay. Okay, it says, help blooms stay upright. Just because, bouquet, you received adds a pops and cheer to the room. But when the flowers start to weaken, weaken and the stems are starting to flop on the side of your vase, what can help? Use a piece of clear dental floss to tie the stems together at the base of the blooms. The invisible strand will hold the flowers in a bunch so they'll stay beautifully upright and so beautiful. That's a nice idea, isn't it? Okay. Now this I thought was interesting. This is Life Made Easy, 10 Brilliant Uses for Plain Yogurt, okay? You can brighten your jewelry stones naturally. Your turquoise necklace that has lost its luster, but you don't want to use harsh chemicals to clean it. To the rescue, plain yogurt. To do, gently rub one tablespoon of yogurt onto the stones and then wipe clean with a soft cloth. The stones will absorb the yogurt's milk proteins resulting in a radiant shine. The bonus, yogurt is safe on those soft stones like ivory and tortoise shell. Two, reveal radiant skin for pennies. Winter weary skin looking a little dull. No need for a pricey face mask. Combine two tablespoons of plain yogurt with three teaspoons of lemon juice. Apply to a clean face. Let it set for five minutes before rinsing. The lactate Lassatic acid in the yogurt will dissolve the dulling, the dead layers of ashy skin while its fats deeply hydrate the complexion. Lemon juice is vitamin C and it repairs damaged cells. You'll look gorgeous. Three, soothe the painful canker sore. Now, I never would have thought this. Next time you find yourself dealing with a stingy, pesky canker sore, reach for some plain yogurt. Swish a spoonful of it in your mouth for five seconds before swallowing. Now the yogurt's cool creaminess will provide instant relief while the probiotics contains will quickly work to kill the bacteria causing the lesion. Four, you can ease a dog's tummy trouble. Now listen up. Eek, your furry pal has been noticeably gassy lately, creating a stink around the house. What can help? Yogurt. Simply mix the plain variety into his food using symptoms subsides until the symptoms subsides. Some vets recommend two tablespoons for a day for larger dogs and one tablespoon a day for pups under 25 pounds. Now the prio probiotic bacteria in yogurt helps counteract the gas forming bacteria in the gut. So Fido will feel better fast and you can breathe easy. You have tame away hair that flies away. Now listen to this. This time of year, dry hair often causes annoying flyaways. To de tame that static that causes them, Try a DIY hair mask. Whisk 
four tablespoons of yogurt, one egg, and work it into your hair and rinse after five minutes. The yogurt's alpha hydroxy acid will smooth that hair cuticle to lock in moisture from the egg. Unclog a drain naturally. Probably could have used this along about a week ago. If your sink is slow to drain, try this plumber approved fix. Pour one cup of plain yogurt down the drain, let it sit overnight. Then pour a tea kettle of boiling hot water down the drain. Yogurt enzymes will dissolve the clog causing the sludge so that the water can rinse it away. Banish stubborn foot fungus. Ouch! The thick socks and boots you've been wearing to keep your tootsies warm have caused itchy foot fungus. Now the solution, apply a thin layer of yogurt to the affected areas. Let it dry and then rinse with warm water before patting dry. Repeat twice daily as needed. Now the yogurt's active bacteria will fight off any infection. 8. Guarantee Tender Steak. Now you scored a great deal on London broil at the supermarket, but last time you cooked this cut, it ended up tough and chewy. To ensure a delicious meal, simply submerge the meat in a bowl of plain yogurt and let it sit there for six hours in the refrigerator. Then you're going to shake off the excess yogurt, season the meat before you cook it as usual. Many marinades are unable to penetrate more deeply than the meat surface, but the enzymes in the yogurt tenderizes it to the very center. Yum. Now to revitalize that copper cookware fast. While putting away your cookware, you notice that your copper pot is finally looking a little bit tarnished. The easy fix, rub one tablespoon of plain yogurt onto the discolored areas. Let it sit for five minutes. Then you're going to rinse it off with cool water. Buff the pot dry with a soft cloth. The acids in the yogurt will help break down the dark copper oxide that's causing the stain, leaving the pot in a tip-top shape. Now number 10, did you realize that it can prolong your life of house plants? Yeah. Yikes, one of your favorite indoor plants seemed to have that powdery white mildew on it. To the rescue, yogurt. Simply mix one tablespoon of plain variety with one cup water, then pour it into a spray bottle. Spritz generously on the plant. The microbes in the yogurt will destroy the mildew so that your plant will soon be back to its healthy self. Isn't that amazing? Okay. Don't need that one. Oh, here we go. We're, we reached the end of the book already. Hard to imagine, right? Horoscope. I know y'all look forward to this. By Marissa Brown, February 18th through March 15th, okay? If you're a Pisces, that's February 19th through March 20th, a burst of gung-ho energy makes it easy to take steps toward your goals. While confident sun is in your sign around February 18th, you're going to envision what you want to achieve, and you'll be on your way. Around February 27th, you're going to be working with a dear friend to prove a little bit of that. You're going to be working with a dear friend that proves productive and emotionally fulfilling. Now, if you're a Cancer, which is June 21st through the 22nd, around February 28th, when the full moon is in your third house of communication. You may feel spread thin and in need of self-care. Lean in on the grounding techniques like deep breathing. On March 5th, you're going to have a heart-to-heart -heart with a loved one. It will lead to a greater mutual understanding. Now, if you're a Scorpio, that's October 23rd through November 21st. The finish line of the group project could be right within your site on February 20th. You're going to feel more a part of your community. Then, while in Mars is in your 8th house on the emotional bonds around March 3rd, you're going to connect with loved ones. Sharing deep-rooted emotions can be a wonderful first step. Aries, March 21st through April 19th. Many make strides on financial goals around 20, February 24th. This could be a fruitful time to brainstorm with money-making projects. With Mars in your third house of communication from March 3rd on, you'll be excited about new opportunities to connect with friends. Dive in. If you're a Leo like yours truly, that's July 23rd through August 22nd, August 3rd, just saying, you may be focused on bolstering your intimacy with loved ones on February 18th. Build in some quality time come February 27th. When the moon is in your second house of income, you may find yourself at a crossroads with a money-making plan. Do a gut check. You'll know how to proceed. Sagittarius, November 22nd through December 21st. While Venus is in your fourth house of intimate affairs, you'll have more opportunities for quality time with loved ones. Even routine phone calls provide heartwarming. heartwarming. Around February 26th, you may be called to step into the spotlight. 
trust that knock, that you're only going to knock it out of the park. Now, if you're a tourist, that's April 20th through May 20th. You might find yourself drawn to group projects around February 25th. While social Venus is in your 11th house of networking, you're going to feel more connected and supported. And come March 1st, you're going to take, you'll do well to take a time out from work to enjoy a activity that brings you joy. It's well deserved. If you're a Virgo, from April, August 23rd through September 22nd, add more balance and calm to your day-to-day -day from February 20th on. Researching new ways to better your time management can prove helpful. Around March 10th, you may feel a bit more sensitive. Prioritize self-compassion and activities that make you feel more emotionally centered. Capricorn, that's December 22nd through January 19th. While Mercury is in your second house of income, income from February 21st on, Research new ways to amplify your cash flow. New technology can support your success. Then on March 5th, you'll be itching to get out of your comfort zone. And experimenting with a new hobby could be satisfying. Now, Gemini, May 21st through June 20th. You'll be inspired to hone your skills around February 28th, taking advantage of learning opportunities that's going to feel fulfilling. Then you'll enjoy a burst of energy that makes it feel like you're going to get on top of your aspirations from March 3rd on. Be sure to revel in that sense of accomplishment. Libra, September 23rd through October 22nd. And it's an experiment with new healthy habits while social Venus is in your sixth house of, well, house of wellness. From February 25th on, trading notes with family has you feeling even more motivated. Around February 27th, you'll be feeling the urge to rest and recharge. This is important to trust your intuition. Aquarius, that's January 20th through February 18th. You're going to find it easy to put most innovative ideas words from February 20th on. While Mercury is in your sign, consider pitching that passion project of reconnecting with old friends. And from March 3rd on, dedicating time to recreate activities can help you process your emotions. And that is all we have for First for Women, March 15th, 2021. Great book. Pick this book up. You won't regret it. What do we have left? Well, uh, the Smithsonian Magazine, or I will do the Country America recipe that I found last night. Probably the Country America recipe will save the Smithsonian for tomorrow night because it's so long-winded. But uh, it's good to knock some of these things out of the way so I can put that book, the novel, in the book bag to go to Fleshner's, and this one will go to my work mom. Uh this Saturday. Wow. It's, where is time gone? So take a deep seat. We've got a recipe and odd and in thoughts next. <music>